Congressman, we understand, first of all, that you, you were actually viewed the Osama bin Laden photos uh, just this morning. I, I want you to describe what you saw, and do you think they should ever be made public? I know you agree with the President's decision, but should the public ever have an opportunity to view what you saw this morning? You know, I um, think that having been briefed by Admiral McRaven and others on the Armed Services Committee, um, that there was no question in my mind about whether or not the events um, transpired as they described it. Um, having the opportunity uh, and the invitation to go over as a, as a member of that committee this morning, uh, I felt obligated to do it because I think it's important to just reinforce the fact that um, because we live in a world where there's doubters and uh, voices that are always uh, trying to uh, challenge uh, you know, events sometimes that uh, are well accepted. So in any case, I mean, the, the, uh, the, the photographs certainly confirm everything that the President and Admiral McRaven and others uh, described, and I think their decision is the right one. Um, I, I don't think, uh, again, living in the world that we're in right now, uh, creating the potential for sympathizers and, um, you know, worship, uh, idol worship, uh, is something that really um, is is something that the government should really um, enable, and, and I think that the, you know the decision that was made was the right one. Uh, Congressman, I want to get you to uh, to the issue of health care for a second. Uh, you made mention the other day about the fact that Aetna, in, in, in your state, what, a big insurer there, is actually uh, decreasing the uh, the average cost for for plan for the premiums. You, you're saying that this is a direct result of the health care reform Absolutely. legislation that you voted for. But here's my question for you. Do you think as we go into the 2012 elections then that health care reform is going to be an issue that is a positive for Democrats and that they're going to actually run boasting about health care? I'm not sure though people will be boasting about it, but the notion that, that repeal, which obviously was riding high leading into uh, 2010's election day, um, as events unfold and as families and businesses uh, begin to uh, feel the benefits of, of the changes that, that that bill, uh, which was a very complex bill, uh, is unfolding. And again, that decision by Aetna to cut those rates was directly related to the medical loss ratio rules, uh, which is a reform that is pro-patient, pro-payer, that says that insurance companies have to spend up to 80 to 85 percent of the premium dollar on actually health care uh, delivery. Um, that, uh, again, is going to result in real savings, actual rebates. Uh, to small businesses and payers of, of health insurance. So when the, the voices of repeal, uh, which again, I think are already starting to lose uh, a lot of their um, energy, even just in the last few months or so, uh, if they try and sort of play that one trick pony uh, again, uh, leading into 2012, I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that people don't want to have uh, insurance rates, again, set with no uh, provision for uh, consumer protection, patient protection, that seniors should be able to get uh, their checkups, annual checkups covered, their cancer screenings covered, that the donut hole, the prescription donut, donut hole should be closed, families should be able to keep their kids up to age 26. I mean, these are, these are things that families and individuals and businesses are feeling uh, with each passing day, and I do think it's going to build up a momentum where that issue probably will be neutralized, Amy, uh, going into the 2012 election. In our, in our last 30 seconds here, Medicare, Republicans put out a proposal, very controversial. How is that playing and what do you think the impact will be? Will Democrats win back the House because of the Medicare issue? I think we should uh, because it is, uh, again, a provision that is so um, out of sync with the needs of families. Uh, just to give you a perfect example, I'm 58 years old. Under that proposal, I would still be under uh, traditional Medicare. My wife, Audrey, is 51. She would be uh, right. left to find it. I mean, you know, the unfairness of a two-tiered system, uh, which you right. can just pull, uh, every family can, see, can really run the numbers and see this, okay. um, is something that really, I think, disqualifies them as a All governing right. majority.